welcome to part 5 of the Singularity Computers Black Mesa playthrough. As always, it's awesome to be back playing this game. I've definitely missed it. And there is some exciting news. There's been a massive update for Black Mesa. And I got really excited when I heard about it because I thought they might have completed Zen. But apparently they're still working on Zen. They are getting close though. But the update is totally awesome. Lots of improvements to the game, but also for surface tension, some added parts, areas to the level which actually never made it into the original game. And so, yeah, we're going to get to see parts of surface tension that nobody has ever seen before. So I am really looking forward to that, playing surface tension and getting access to all of those, you know, extra parts of the level. You really have to watch out for that Marine. If you walk out there, he actually launches a grenade at you from the grenade launcher on the MP5. Usually I'd use the Magnum for this sort of thing, but if you can get the hang of the MP5, the, the kick from it, and just keep hitting them, they experience the same you know, inaccuracy once they start taking hits that you do to a certain extent, so. So we got all of them. Usually they don't all come out like that. It seems that the AI has changed again. They're a bit more aggressive now. Yeah, that's what I love about this. They're always improving it. Obviously, the team who made this really love the original Half-Life. You know, and have a real passion for it. Which is just makes the game so good to play. And this is such a timeless game. You know, this is an absolute classic and it always will be. This level is always a lot of fun too. I don't know why, it's just a short level, but I just have good memories of playing it. <laughs> Such bad aim. I haven't played any games in a while. Actually, I've been doing the Doom playthrough. I've started a, a playthrough of the new Doom. So, make sure you check that out. So, I'm going to be playing both of these games right through. And I plan on starting some other playthroughs soon, but I'd like to get closer to the end of either this one or the Doom playthrough first. Hopefully, by the time we get closer to the end of this, maybe they will have completed Zen. Ouch. But if not, as I've mentioned, we're going to switch to the original so that we can play through the Alien Worlds Zen. That's all you have to do there. Just get rid of the box that's stopping the, the generator from working. If I remember rightly, these fans in the original, you actually used to get blown up by them and it was a shortcut up to there but doesn't seem to work anymore they took it out yeah I might be wrong but I really do remember that in the original it was so long ago though Heaps of them waiting at the top. But at least you have cover now, because this cover didn't used to be here, and you just get nailed. Oh! <laughs> 
Man, they're way more aggressive now. Usually they run and hide. What I should have done is just pulled out the Magnum. I thought that barrel was still there. I forgot that I blew it up. Alright, let's go back and fry the big beastie. And then on a rail. And because this level's so short, we will actually get to play some of Honor Rail. I can't wait to get to Surface Tension and Lambda Core. I think I left some grenades in here. No. God. Useless shooting. I'm playing so badly. Because I haven't played for ages and once you go off and play a different game for a bit, you get used to it. And that is it. That's pretty much the whole of power up. I'm definitely going to get burned. Die. pretty cool for an old game and the soundtrack in this is awesome too definitely suits it I'm very excited to see what they've done with Zen and it was great to see this big update so I remember when I first played actually I'm going to go down here because I did leave some ammo and health. Yeah, when I first played Black Mesa, it was a really amazing experience. Loving the original so much, you know, I've played that so many times and then playing this, you know, the original Half-Life in an updated en engine was like playing the game all over again for the very first time. It was absolutely awesome and so that's why I'm so excited about Zen because you know it's really interesting the alien worlds the Zen levels stepping out into a, another universe or dimension or whatever it is was a really interesting part of the original game and so just seeing what they've done with the levels is going to be epic. Hey, it's Freeman, right? Hold up a sec. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. Uh, you're supposed to take this old rail system up to some sort of satellite delivery office or something. I don't know what it is exactly. The old guy was so worried about getting out alive, he didn't think to stop me. Don't. Anyway, the main thing is. And then we have to launch the rocket. So when you find to rocket, prepare for going out into space you'll have to get up to the control room the teleporting the out into the into Zen
Definitely some improvements to the load times. I've noticed they're a lot shorter. And there are some improvements to the graphics, but most of them are apparently when you're outdoors. There's improvements to the shadows, god rays now. So a lot of it we're not going to notice until we go outside. But I have noticed some improvements to the graphics. So it's a pretty cool update. And this is the beginning of Honor Rail. I love the water. The water and the fire in this engine looks so cool, so realistic. Mainly considering the age of the engine. I mean, just look at that. And also when you're underwater looking out, it looks incredible. Sometimes you end up falling off the back here. Another little puzzle to figure out. You get ambushed at the top of this ladder. And that's actually where we came from down there. See if that didn't kill it. This level used to be super long in the original and a little bit boring, you know, some of it, but there was a lot of extra parts in the original that aren't in this. If you know what to do here, it really helps. Because what I just took out then on another lift was two turrets coming up on the lift. You get absolutely owned here if you don't know exactly what to do. That should do it. 
Nice. So there was a couple of turrets on there. They've obviously been blown off. And they're even behind cover. So, you know, this is when the military are becoming a bit more desperate to take out Gordon Freeman because he's becoming a pretty serious threat. So they set a few, you know, a lot of ambushes and traps like this here. And don't bother trying to shoot it from back there. It just doesn't seem to work very well. You end up getting owned. Better off coming up behind it and knocking it over. I love this bit. Die, Freeman. You're better off just letting these battles play out till they get the numbers down. Usually the Marines win here, so that's why I'm helping the Vorts out a little bit. Headshot. Didn't expect that. They're definitely a lot more aggressive now. And just when I was starting to feel lonely. Sounds like the people are fixing to throw you a surprise party. Better clear your dance card, Slick. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. fight amongst themselves. That worked nicely. No, there's still one more. Where is he? Looks like we might have to get some health from the vending machine. You can actually get health from these things, from the drinks, just one HP at a time though. This is pretty much the only part of this game that's actually a bit of a setup right here. Where, obviously, I mean, this happens in so many games. You get a good weapon and next thing, heaps of enemies come at you and it, it's not natural, it's a setup. And it's something that makes it not feel as immersive. But that is the greatest thing about Half-Life, you know, all of the Half-Life games. It, oh, I should have killed that. <laughs> killed him instantly. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's a setup for the player. But if you consider when this was made, I mean... How many 
these things are tough. How didn't I lose any health? I must have had some HEV left. Alright. Here's the rocket. up to the surface again now. Actually, no, we don't. Not quite yet. Area Nearly. I need some health. Yeah, there was a lot of areas actually cut out in Black Mesa, I, I noticed, but, you know, there's many things that are also added, but there are definitely parts of the game that are cut out, like when you're up in the pipes, and the pipes fall down, there's a, I don't know what level it is, but there's a couple of marines down below shooting up at the pipes and then there's this whole basically almost the whole level that's actually missing I think it is part of surface tension so maybe that's what they've put back in because that's something that I really did miss when I played this because that part of the game was pretty cool Damn it. you have to be careful here because there's another Big ambush. There's definitely more of them than that. I should be zooming in. There we go. There's one more. If you let them get on the 50 cal, it just takes you down in seconds. Now you have to run down here really fast because a couple of marines come up behind you. So you get down here on the 50. Come on. <laughs> and then they run away. Okay, here we are. This bit's awesome. So, who is this guy? Freeman. They say he was at ground zero. The science team. Yeah. Yeah. What, so, you think this guy is responsible? Sabotage, maybe. Yeah, maybe. All I know for sure is this guy's been killing Marines. Oh, 
Oh, headshots. Pretty sure there's a couple more though. Put your head up. <laughs> that was useless. There we go. They're all down. Now we go in and launch the rocket. But I better leave it there. So that sums up part five. Thanks for watching and remember that none of this would be possible without our patrons.